So we've looked at using the grid view and the details view as a way to interact with the data in the database. Uh, I want to introduce you to one more control called the repeater control. And the repeater control basically uh, treats every line in the database, so every record in the database, um, it treats as its own entity. Uh, and then we can format that and take action on that or whatever we want to do uh, when that's coming back. Um, so it's a little different than grid view where it's all populated at once in a table format. This is actually coming back line at a time. Um, and I'll show you uh, how we'll get that. We'll get into our Visual Web Developer. This is the site I was using uh, to connect into Apollo. Uh, just some real simple, uh, the name and the color uh, site. So let me add a new item here, get a new page to work with. We'll call it default two, it's fine. Default two. Want to add a new SQL data source. Connect to that uh, connection string. I want to add the repeater control. I'm going to point the repeater control to the data source. Okay, I got to make a couple modifications here. So I'm going to get into split view. I want to get inside this repeater control and add an item template control, uh, add an item template element. And then I want to get inside the item template element. So here I've opened repeater, opened item template, closed item template, closed repeater. So I'm here in the middle. I want to do an eval. This little pound sign uh, is important. Uh, if it's not working the way you uh, would expect, go back and look and make sure that the pound sign is still there. So I want to eval. I'm going to grab the database name, uh, the, the database field name. In this case, it's name. Save this up and I'll view it in the browser. So now each one of these things is coming back. I'm only grabbing one, uh, one field out of the record and each record is coming back side by side. So if I want to clean that up a little bit, I can do a BR. So now each, I've only selected one field, but that field for each record is now coming back. So I can also add in the color. So now these are records in the database, Mike in blue, Amy in red, Matt in yellow, Ben in green. I can get in here and get a little fancier with it. Just by adding in some simple text. And I can start to adjust how these are coming back. I can format this. So I'm going to use inline styling. I would not recommend this. I would recommend you put it in your style sheet, but for brevity, I'm just going to do it uh, inline. I'm going to assign the class repeater block. And I'll go in and set some style information. Let's go with silver.
Okay, I've set some style information. Uh, now I can come down here. I'm going to get inside this repeater control, inside of the item template, and I'm going to create a div. Set the class equal to repeater block. Grab that and put it in here. Okay, things are looking a little fancier. There we go. So now each now I can uh, start to format these a little bit differently. I can even uh, go a little bit more crazy here. So Mike's favorite color is. Let's open a span. And give that span a style. And I want to set the style equal to whatever the color is. So what I've done here, as I've said, get the name apostrophe s their favorite color is i'm going to create this span the span i'm going to set some styling uh, uh style sheet information style color so the text color is going to be whatever their favorite color is all right and then i'm closing up i'm ending the style and closing up the span tag then i'm going to actually display that information from the database uh, and then i'm uh, here i'm closing up the span element and entering a br so let's take a look at this And there we go. We get different colors. So the repeater control is very nice. It lets you have very good granular control uh, over uh, the data that's coming back uh, from the database. So maybe this might be useful for you uh, with uh, some of your project information.